Hello and welcome to 3D Survey 3.1, the version where CAD engine is elevated to a new level. You can lock your plane to a specific height, draw perpendicular lines without limits, and much more. I'm very excited to present this feature to you because it revolutionizes your vectorization process in so many cases. Let's get to it. First, let me show you how it works. To work with perpendicular lines, we have to limit ourselves to a single plane. So let's define that. We click Define Plane here in the newly created section of a CAD tab. Now the info box tells us that we're placing points for plane definition. As we know, a plane is defined by three points. There can also be more and the software will fit the best plane through them. Once done, click Confirm Plane or just right click. Now my plane is set all my lines and points will now snap on it. Now I can start drawing. I draw my first line along this goal line. After I place my second vertex, I have an option to lock my next line segment to be perpendicular to this one. Do that by clicking Object UCS button. Now that this is active, I'm locked in my user-defined axis grid. Additional feature here is you can hover over your targeted vertex to activate the leading lines to snap to. This way I can easily align the length of my third segment to be the same as the first one. Another simple but very useful feature we have added in this update is the Quick Height Lock or Q for short. Let's see a simple scenario where you may find it useful. Quite often you can get a mesh like this, a curb that's not as sharp as I want it to be. So if I want to map out the edge of the asphalt here, I may get the wrong heights. So I simply lock the height where I know it is correct and then place a point. I can also do this in top-down view. So I get out here, hold down Q and then place a point where I horizontally want it. While I hold down the Q, I am locking my height so, no matter where on my model I place it, it will always get projected on that locked height. Now, let's look at the results. All my points show the edge of the asphalt and are not elevated, but show the right height of the road. Now, let's raise the challenge bar and look at this real-life photogrammetry project. A house for which we would like to draw an outline for building registration. That's a lovely house and a quality drone work. But still, we may have some problems getting all the corners out. We anticipated this, so we recorded some control points on the field. Let's start here on this corner. We'll create a new CAD layer for lines. Make it active and now we can start. Another challenge here is we need an outline of where the walls protrude out the most and that's not on the ground level. That's why we take the height value here and project that hanging corner down. I press down the Q button and as long as I hold it, my height is locked. I place my point to the outmost edge of this corner. We see the results on the image side pane. Let's continue to the other corner. Here we have placed a point beforehand. But the biggest problem will be this area under the balcony. For this, I'll help myself with the bounding box tool. I slice out the roof so it's not in the way. I also want to do the outline of the balcony, but again, on the ground level. I switch to top-down view and I'll use the same trick. I find a point where the height is correct. I hold down Q button and just click along the balcony line. It's a simple geometry, so there's not much work. 
When I'm done, I can release the cue button. I leave the top down view to check my results. They look good. Now the hard part. I need to draw this uneven surface. I have to start from this point, so the easiest way for me would be to place it in advance. I'll use the top down view again. So here's my starting point. While snapping on the ground, I hold down Q and place my point here in the corner. Now for the rest of this space, I'll define a custom plane to draw on. Again, I click Define Plane, I place a few points, check how it looks and confirm the plane. Now I can start drawing again. I'll start here on my point and go along this line, up to here. I check the position on the image side pane. Now I activate the perpendicular mode. I click Object UCS and it locks my active line to be perpendicular to its previous segment. And since I can activate the snapping leading lines, I can be sure I'll end up exactly where I need to. And it's done! Next, I have to connect this corner. Again, I use this point as a start. Snap to this end point. Now I press down Q button to lock the plane. I press the F8 button to toggle on the UCS. I'm still holding the Q down and I go to top-down view to hit the precise corner again. Done. Now, since I know this house isn't always perpendicular, I'll just place the next point and connect it. I'll place it here on the corner and use the retriangulation through drawing on images for perfect positioning. I have to rotate it a bit to get the best view. And I redefine it on two images. This point is set, now I just have to connect it with a line. There. Now the tricky part. I have to carry over this height to this corner over here. It's not visible because of this tree here. And there's all this other stuff also in the way. Once again, I'll use the bounding box to hide the roof. I go into top-down ortho mode. And now things are really simple. Since I know the height is the same on both sides, I'll just lock my height to the point I've placed before, hold Q and click the corner. Now all I have to do is connect the lines. And I'm done. My next assignment Roof vectorization. First, I create a new layer. I give it a name and color, increase the line weight, then I'll define a plane on this roof slope. I place four points and check how the suggested plane fits. Very well. I confirm it with a right click. Now I go from corner to corner. After my second vertex, I hit F8 to lock my UCS. Now I don't worry about perpendicularity anymore. When I'm closing down on my last vertex, I go over it to activate the snapping. This green leading line appears and it guides me to the right extent. I can still miss, but Backspace works here as well. This roof face is done. Now let's do the same on the other one. I reset the plane and define a new one. I'll use the top two vertices of the previous plane, so I get the perfect intersection. I add two more points and confirm. 
I start drawing. Again, I hit F8 after my second vertex. Now, either this roof isn't perpendicular or I misplaced my point. Uh, let's try again. Again, I use backspace to go a vertex back and place it again. This time it fits. Okay, let's finish off this roof. Done. And now my final assignment. The hedge lines. Marking a midline of a hedge on the ground level is a pesky task. Or at least it used to be. Now I can also do this one with the help of a quick height lock. I just go next to the hedge and place my first point, the starting of the hedge. Go on the other side and repeat. Now let's just speed this up a bit. Okay, now thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you're as excited for this feature as I am. There are many more scenarios where you can use it. For example, facades and other vertical features. Let us know if we forgot to cover yours. Until next time, happy 3D surveying!